Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to solve a vertical angle problem. So we're going to be tasked with finding the measure of each angle. So here we have a vertical angle example, and the way that we know that is vertical angles will essentially happen when we have two lines that intersect. So anytime we have two lines that cross the intersect, they create a space of four different angles. One, two, three, four. And vertical angles are the angles that are opposite each other. So for example, here the 2x plus 48 is a vertical angle with 5x plus 9. These two angles here across from each other up and down would also be vertical angles together. And what we need to know about vertical angles to help us solve this problem is that vertical angles are congruent to each other, which is just another way of saying that they equal each other. So whatever this angle is, so is this one. Same thing for the top and bottom, they equal each other. So as long as I know that, I can solve this example. So that means that these two angles equal each other. So that means that 2x plus 48 is equal to 5x plus 9. So all I have to do is set them equal to each other and then solve this equation. So solving this equation, I'm going to move my x values to the right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 2x from each side. That'll cancel on the left-hand side, and I drop down the 48. That's going to equal to 5x minus 2x is 3x, and drop down the plus 9. I'm going to move my number to the left-hand side then, so subtracting 9 from each side will give me now that 3x is equal to 39. The only thing left to do to wrap up this portion of the problem is to divide both sides by the coefficient, and I get that x is equal to 13. Now we've got to keep in mind, 13 is not the solution to this problem here. We've got to remember that we're solving for the angle, and the angle is not x. The angle is either 2x plus 48 or 5x plus 9. And since these two equal each other, you only need to pick one of these. So you need to pick either one of these. It does not matter which one you pick. I normally just go with ones that have smaller numbers or that maybe are positive instead of negative. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose 5x plus 9. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 13 and I'm going to plug it in for x. And I'm going to simplify this and that will give me the measure of the angle. So if I do 5 times 13, that is going to give me 65 and 65 plus 9 is 74 degrees. So that means that both of these angles here equal 74 degrees. Otherwise, that is it for this video.